Go ahead, Ruben. Hey, you're gonna have a missed call from me, don't worry about it. I called you, I thought you were still in the shop because I went to the bathroom after I saw you when you were coming out of the yard. I took a, a dump and then uh, look and there's no paper. And I had a roll of paper on my car, which was just beside the toilet, uh, the, 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 the water party, but yeah, there was nobody there, then I had to get out naked and go get my paper. Oh, so you wanted me for a rescue mission? Then four. <laughs> but yeah, you were long gone, I guess. Yeah, because I didn't see it after I, I kind of speak to it, and I was like, oh yeah, I can see it long. Yeah, hopefully they don't have cameras, you know, they're going to see your night wide out in my in the, in the camera. Oh, wow, well, at least it's important to get your paperwork done anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, no toilet paper. <laughs> Just use the back of your room sheet. Try to clean them up as much as you can before you hand it in. <laughs> Thankfully, I had uh, some paper in my car. I didn't have roaches with me. I didn't have anything to, uh, to do anything. Yeah. Well, you could have used one of your socks and just went sockless for a day. NBC First Nation says it backs up the tribal stories passed down for generations about this old village, 14,000 year old village on Earth. So, uh, you're hilarious, Ruben. <laughs> but today I'm wearing my, my nice and warm big socks. I didn't want to get rid of one. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to use an expensive sock. You'd have to take it home. <laughs> oh, come on, Keith. 